Yo people, this is James Gayo and here are the 6 things that you should know if you want to be a chemistry major. Tip number 1 is to invest on a scientific calculator. 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 Chemistry is a much more mathematics intensive major than you taught, so a good scientific calculator is a must. As a chemistry major, you will be doing tons of chemical calculations, data treatments in your laboratory classes, physics, statistics, and the list goes on and on. All of that requires a calculator. Of course, there are lots of calculators out there, different brands, different models, but mine is from Casio. This is the FX570 ES Plus. This was recommended to me by my chemistry professor back then, back in my freshy days. Because this specific model of calculator is allowed in our licensure exam. So yeah, I got that for that purpose. Okay, let's talk about laboratory reports. Honestly, lab reports will be the most tedious part of being a chemistry student. Like literally, this will always be by your side day and night. You need to submit this every week in your laboratory classes. Some are handwritten and some are typewritten and they are strict when it comes to the format you are doing. But I assure you that you will learn to adjust to such workload eventually as you do it more often. Now let me introduce to you what we do inside the laboratory. In UPLB, our lab classes last for seven hours. So basically we will be doing an activity within that certain span of time. Most of that is dedicated in conducting the actual experimentation. Yes, it is very tedious, it is very nakakapagod and all. Kasi you need to like monitor your experiment. But personally, this is the best part of being a chem student. Because we were able to watch how a certain reaction goes under a certain condition. We were able to use laboratory apparatuses that other students could not. We were taught to be accurate and precise when it comes to the actions that we conduct during the experimentation procedure. However, now that we are in the pandemic, the laboratory classes are not as fun as the laboratory classes before. Because now it is purely online and it kind of sucks. Fourth tip is to learn the basics. While you are still in senior high school or you're still waiting to enter college, I suggest that you learn some of the basics. So here are some basic topics that I suggest you study beforehand. First are units, the SI units, some conversions. Second is you should learn stoichiometry. Third, you should learn how to balance chemical equations. Fourth, get familiar with the periodic table of elements. Be knowledgeable about the symbols and names of different elements. Know how to read chemical names and compounds. And the fifth and final one is to study scientific notation. Those are the five topics that I could think of that will really be helpful once you become a chemistry major. Fifth tip is don't be intimidated by all the scientific shits. Wala ko may isin a term, but yeah, scientific shits. At first, you will really find the subject hard. Like, it is different from what you learn in high school or in senior high school. There's a possibility that you will feel that you are so stupid for not understanding a certain concept that you can't do it anymore that you hate chem i've been there i've done that but just remember that it is a learning curve all things are learnable we must always practice that growth mindset now all the topics all the concepts can be learned through time depending on the efforts and the time that you allot to learn those concepts and finally is to always think of applying what you learn to the world as much as possible think of a way to connect what you are studying to what is happening in real life. Learn how chemistry affects our daily lives. And with that, hopefully we got to understand and appreciate the subject more because it works for me. And hopefully that will be easy because chemistry is everywhere. That sounds kind of cheesy, but yeah, it's true. Anyways, that's it for this video. This is like a pretty short video, I guess, but I hope you learned something from this. I made this video because I just realized that uh, I'm turning senior next semester and I just feel like sharing all these things to those who want to be chemistry majors in the future or for those who are upcoming chemistry majors. Please let me know in the comment section if this video is very insightful and also let me know if you have questions about BS chemistry in general and hopefully I can answer all those questions. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.